Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing this cool parallax uh, scroll animation uh, all inside Adobe XD. Uh, so the smooth parallax scroll. So without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, so for this, you will have to create a basic uh, 1920 by 1080 web artboard and I'm going to name this uh, first, first page. Perfect. So the Adobe XD file will be linked down in the description for you to download. Uh, so without further ado, let's just continue with this. So first of all, we will create the background, which will be this uh, clean gradient uh, all throughout the background. Uh, representing the sky uh, in a sense and it looks uh, it looks clean and pretty the, this is this represents there's uh, you know sort of a, a sunrise kind of a, an effect in the blue sky obviously and I'll just lock this down for now now first of all I will create a quick card and um, just to represent that uh, New York picture here uh, you can have anything in the middle, you don't have to have what I have. Um, I'll just quickly skip to the portion where I've created the card because that's not what is important. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I've created the card right here in Adobe XD and the image I've taken is from unsplash.com. So I'll give the link down in the description. Um, now, I, uh, the major things are the clouds and the buildings. So. Uh, we will be, uh, I've already saved the clouds as symbols right here. So I'll just bring this in. I'll ungroup the symbol so that I can change stuff here. And I'll just, uh, first of all, I want a cloud which is really close to us. So uh, on one edge, just like this. And here on the right hand side, you will see this blur option. And I have to choose object blur. And I'll uh, select this and something is already set. So we'll set it to 15. Uh, it goes up all the way up to 50, but we just want it to be 15 for right now. And uh, we will just uh, duplicate this cloud and make it much smaller. And um, if a cloud is further away, it will be uh, less in opacity. So give this a 50% opacity and maybe about a 25 um, object blur. Perfect. Uh, this is really far away let's copy this over on this side and uh, this will be slightly bigger and slightly less blurred out so about 15 again and how about 80 percent on that opacity so this again is very close to us uh, you can make it overlay over the card slightly just like this to give it a little more depth and um, just like this you can place uh, around more uh, cards so I'll place in another cloud here and I'll make, give this 100% opacity and about um, 45 on that, yeah, blur. So we have these clouds laid out. You can, you can put uh, in more clouds, uh, more the clouds, the merrier. Uh, but for now, we will leave it just like that and we'll save this document. The next step will be to bring in the buildings. Okay, so I have copied over three images. Uh, this is the Empire State Building. Um, I don't know which building. This is one of those uh, buildings on Wall Street, I guess. And another building on Wall Street is here. Um, obviously, these are iconic buildings in New York. So that is representing New York in the picture as well. Uh, these buildings have are basically these entire images which I've traced out with the pen tool and just masked over. So uh, I will be, you know, uh, that's a very simple process. Uh, I'll just quickly show it to you how I did it. And as you can see, this is an image and I copied over just like this here. And with the pen tool, I just traced out the outline outlines of this building. Um, and I just masked it over by saying command shift M and that was a simple mask. Uh, I've done that same thing for all three of these buildings and um, also I will now give more clouds here. I will make sure they are like smaller clouds which are slightly um, above this, above these buildings, um, hovering over 80% in about uh, 10 blur, the blur is not much and opacity is about 70 here. And I can give a much smaller one right here as well. Um, 
you know, I can remove, uh, as this is a plain SVG, I can just remove uh, parts of this. And, you know, I can just r replicate around just like that. So as you can see, I've created kind of a, it kind of gives more depth to the entire thing right here. So as everything is now placed, I will uh, duplicate this layer by saying, uh, duplicate this artboard by saying command D on this artboard. And first page has gotten duplicated. I'll say second page. We will only need two pages for this to work. Um, now on this card, I want uh, I'll just duplicate this background on this card, Command D to duplicate it. And I want this duplicate to be black in color because we'll be changing the colors of this card as well. So copy this over to the first artboard. That's the trick. And uh, I want this to be behind uh, the elements here, just like that. And reduce the height of this element. So it can be uh, zero if you want and it can just be sitting here at the bottom. Just make sure it's at the bottom and uh, reduce the opacity to zero. Perfect, so this will animate accordingly. Um, I will also have to change the text to from this uh, teal to a white, slightly grayed out white actually, perfect. And um, in the background, I will want uh, the background color to change as well. I've saved another gradient right here, which is this uh, black to an almost purple. And I want this to be here, but I'll, and behind everything as well. So right here, and I want it to reduce in opacity. And in the second artboard, we will just copy this over. Oops. I'll just copy this over and give this 100% opacity and behind everything as well. And here I'll just give it 0% opacity. Perfect. And uh, here what I want to do is now move the, uh, the clouds around. So the clouds which are closer to us, which appear closer, will move faster. So make sure that this cloud it moves all the way to the top here. Okay, so we have moved the clouds above. You can see uh, above uh, the artboard, outside the artboard. And uh, um, now there are some changes we'll have to make to the buildings as well. Uh, so the buildings, we will increase the size just like this uh, for the Empire State Building and I'll bring it close to this card, perfect. Um, and this building as well, I'll, I'll try to make this building slightly smaller and also bring it closer. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that is how we're gonna work with it. And we'll increase the size of this building as well and bring it slightly closer, that, that'll work. Um, now we want to make sure that the buildings are dark in the night because this is nighttime, obviously. Uh, so for that, I'll just double click here and inside this mask group, I have this path six, which I've used to outline this building. I'll just copy this path and come outside and just say command V to copy it over. So since this is white, we'll change it to a black, both on the border as well as the building inside as well. And I'll just reduce the opacity to about 80, maybe a little more, 70. Yeah, 70 should do. And same for this building, I'll copy the outline and I'll just bring it right here outside and I'll change it to black and uh, 70. Okay, so I have uh, everything ready for both, uh, for all three of these buildings. Make sure that this is uh, here as well. So obviously I'll have to uh, decrease the sizes as well. Uh, make sure outlines, you know, they're steady over this. Uh, okay, I'll just um, align everything here like that. I'll increase the size of this building here because it's larger here and kind of make it just like that and align everything just like this. Perfect. And I will select all of these three and I will reduce the opacity to zero for here. Uh, now the next step would be to place the stars because the stars are important for the sky here. Uh, I've already saved the stars right here and uh, let me see star yeah so one star uh, right here and I will ungroup the symbol and uh, I'll just move this around I'll 
duplicate this, uh, increase the size of these stars, maybe reduce the size uh, as well. And just randomly place it at places because stars are, again, randomly placed. Um, make them smaller as well, almost uh, non-existent. Perfect. And just copy it here and there. Perfect, this looks really nice. Maybe place one or two on the top as well. Perfect. Uh, okay, these look really nice. All I have to do is quickly select all of these, even the smaller little guys, and uh, just uh, select all of these and copy them over. Say Command C or Control C, and copy all of these over to the first artboard right here. And bring, uh, now the parallax for the stars begins. Now you just have to bring all these stars, um, you know, slightly below here. Some stars will be further away, some stars will be less further away, uh, if you know what I mean. And just randomly, for the stars, if they are at the back, you want less movement. And for the ones which are, uh, for the ones which are at the back, you want more movement. For the ones which are in the front, you want less movement. So just place them slightly below. And I want you guys to quickly select all of these stars and reduce the opacity of these stars to uh, zero. Perfect, hopefully all these stars are now hidden and you can't see any of them here. Now for a little uh, finishing touch, I'm known for my finishing touches. So for that, I would like to add these lights which I've saved. So for this one building, for the Empire State Building, I've saved these lights and I'll play, try and place them according to the building itself. Um, this seems pretty cool, pretty perfect. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this looks pretty nice to me. And I'll just ungroup the symbol right here. And I also have lights for this big guy right here. Um, let me make sure that I have everything placed right here. And there you go, that's perfect. One last thing, I will place the sun uh, kind of behind this building right here and uh, make sure it's I've ungrouped the symbol uh, perfect and I'll copy this over here to give it that uh, how about here behind everything again and uh, make it white rather than yellow so that it looks like a moon now uh, now everything is set I will quickly give it a trigger so now we have the bar which is set the scroll bar uh, so let's get the magic started. We will set the scroll, scroll bar uh, and on the scroll bar on this circle we want it to go to the next artboard and rather than saying tap I'll say drag and I'll say snap uh, and auto animate is on and I'll do the same here as well as uh, for these arrows. So have these uh, really basic arrows right here. And uh, for these arrows also I wanted to prototype just for a quick animation as well. Rather than saying drag, I'll say tap, snap, and how about four seconds. Let's give that like a slow animation. You, you know, you don't want it to uh, hurry up or rush through the animation. And here on the top we'll do the same. Snap, four seconds. So let's try this out real quick. Uh, so we have everything set up here. If I drag this through, as you can see the buildings, they illuminate, the, there's light in the buildings and everything turns into this dark mode. Um, and you know, you can drag this or even better, you can, you know, click on the arrows for this smooth animation. Now that is really smooth. It almost makes me meditate. <laughs> And um, uh, that was it. That was is as simple as that. Create cool parallax animations only inside Adobe XD.